All right, I want to prove the left identity is equal to the right. So, and to start doing that, I'll break this down to its basic components. So tangent y is equal to sine y over cosine y. And cosecant y is equal to 1 over sine y. All right, so what I can do here is rewrite this so we end up with sine y over cosine y and then we would take the reciprocal multiply that and we get sine y over 1 So that was a little bit tricky, I had to think about this for a little bit. So this becomes sine squared y over cosine y. And what I can do here is I can turn sine squared into 1 minus cosine squared y over cosine y. So what we end up with here is we can rewrite this as, I'll move it down here. So 1 over cosine y minus cosine squared y over cosine y. So one of these cosine y cancels out the top, so we're left with 1 over cosine y minus cosine y. So what you can do here, this is kind of a trick, so I'll move back up here. We already got the 1, minus, one over cosine y, right? Uh, I mean, this is just what they did, but uh, 1 over cosine y, or cosine y, is, you can, it's the same thing as secant y. Because a secant y, all right, so that proves our trig identity, but let me just show you. So cosine, excuse me, 1 over cosine y is equal to secant y. But if you have 1 over secant y, it's equal to 1 over 1 over cosine y. And when you divide 1 divided by secant, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So it's 1 times cosine y over 1, and you get cosine y. So that's how we ended up getting that. So. Anyway, that's it. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.